Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a haul video. I went to Target the other day. I actually went to Walmart as well, but I don't have a bag for that because the Walmart that I go to, they don't give you plastic bags anymore. Either you bring your own bag to put your stuff in or you have to pay for a paper bag. And the guy that rang me up didn't offer me a paper bag, so after he rang me up, my stuff was just sitting there. I'm like, okay, sir, I guess I'll just stuff all this into my purse and look like I'm stealing it. Thanks. So anyway, I'm going to get started with this haul. To me, I have a fairly good amount of stuff because I don't normally buy a lot of stuff at once, but here on the YouTube world, this is probably considered a smaller haul, but yeah, so let's get started. Yeah, I think I'm going to take everything out of the bag first because this is real loud. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with the things I got from Walmart first. The first thing I got is the is from the Wet n Wild Fergie collection and it's a highlighter. I'm going to open this up so you can see it better, um, but this is in the color Rose Champagne Glow. So this is what the color looks like. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> so this is what the color looks like. It looks like it's gonna be a really nice highlighter, which is exactly what I bought this for. But there are some pink veining in it, so it might work as a blush as well. I haven't used it yet, so we shall see. Um, but the full name of this product is Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection, and it's called the Two Reflect Shimmer Palette. And again, the color is in <laughs> Rose Champagne Glow. It came off. I'm just going to do a quick swatch because I'm interested in seeing what this looks like. That's what it looks like on my finger. Super pretty. Oh, I didn't even put on a highlight today. So that's what it looks like on the back of my hand, if you can see that. I think I'm going to find a brush and put this on real quick. So I went and grabbed my MAC 188 brush. I'm just interested in seeing what this looks like. And since I don't have a highlighter on today because I forgot, I'm just going to see how that goes. Ooh, I might have put too much on. That is really pretty. Yeah, loving that. There was two other colors in this that were more of a bronzy type of colors, um, but they look too orange for me. There was, yeah, there's three of these in total. This is the only one that I thought would look good on my skin tone, so it's the only one I got. Next is something I've been kind of on the hunt for for a while now, and this is the Maybelline Baby Skin, so I finally found it, obviously, and it is the Instant Pore Eraser. And then on the back it says, instantly blurs the look of pores without clogging them, transport, Transparent. Transparent gel formula smooths on clear, smooths and refines skin's appearance. So I'm really excited to try this because I haven't tried any new primers in a really long time, so I'm excited to see how that works. So next is this massive thing. This is the CoverGirl Bombshell Volume Mascara by Lash Blast. So it is in their Lash Blast line of mascaras. There are two ends to this mascara. This is side one is volume and two is intensify. So yeah, this was pretty expensive. It was about eight or nine dollars at Walmart. Actually, it was nine dollars at Walmart and I think like nine fifty at Target. So it's pretty expensive, but you do get two mascaras in one. So I guess it's worth it, but well, we'll see if it's worth it after I use it. So. On the back it says mega volume and dark intensity in one mascara for an over-the-top bombshell look. So we shall see. And then I got another brow pencil by Maybelline. This is the Define a Brow Pencil in Dark Bowl dark blondes. I mentioned this in my 2013 beauty favorites, yearly favorites. Um, yeah, I just needed a new one, so there's that. Then I got one of the buff lipsticks from Maybelline. They have a new buffs line of lipstick, which is all nude. So I think there's about eight of them, but I only found one that I thought would really suit my skin tone. A lot of them were more on the brown tone or, yeah, I just didn't feel like they would look that good on me, except for this one. So this is in 915 Blushing Beige. So this is the color, and I'll do a quick swatch. So there's the color right there. I think it'll be really pretty, but again, I haven't used it yet, so we'll see. Hopefully I can use it in a future tutorial. The next, I got this lipstick from Wet n Wild. I really only got this because it was only 99 cents, so I thought it was worth a try, and the color looks kind of interesting. So the color is in 502A Dark Pink Frost. So the word frost is kind of freaking me out. I'm gonna open this up. So this is what the color looks like. It's kind of intimidating. It might be a little too dark on my skin, but I'm gonna swatch it to see how it looks. Oh. Oh. So here's the swatch. It's that pink one right here. It's kind of coming up darker on camera, but in person it looks really pretty. It's just a mid-tone pink with some gold shimmers in it. So it actually looks really pretty. So we'll see how this goes once I actually put it on my lips. So that's it for Walmart. Then I went over to Target and the whole point of me going out to the stores in the first place was to find a new eye cream. I had just finished my Yesa Grapefruits Brightening Eye Cream and I wasn't a huge fan of it so I wanted to find something new. So I picked up the Olay Total Effects 7 Anti-Aging Eye Treatment. 
which looks like that. And I bought all this stuff a few days ago and I haven't opened most of it, but the eye cream I did because I couldn't wait to use it. So this is what the little container looks like. And it holds, it says it comes with half an ounce of product, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it actually is. So this is what it looks like inside. And a little bit goes a long way. So I just put my finger in it and it blends out really nicely. And it feels really nice under the eyes. It feels really great. When I wake up in the morning, it feels still really moisturized. So I do really like it so far. So real quick, I'm just gonna read the back of the box. It says, total effects fight seven signs of aging, fine lines in crow's feet, dark circles, dullness, puffiness, uneven tone, uneven texture, and dryness. So, so far so good. I'll let you guys know maybe my next favorites video, how I like it. Then my target recently started selling NYX products, which I'm really excited about because things tend to be a little bit more pricey over at Ulta. So now that NYX is being sold at Target, I feel like they're a little bit cheaper there. So I got a concealer by NYX. It comes in this little pot here and it's called the Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. So there is that. And I got mine in the color porcelain. So this is the lightest shade that it comes in. I'm pretty fair, so you know how that goes. Then I got another Revlon Color Stay Top Coat, which looks like this. This one says Gel Shine Top Coat, and this is the old one that I've had. I'm about to run out of it, um, but it doesn't say Gel Shine on the older bottle, so I don't know if they reformulated it or changed it a little bit. I really, really like the old formula. I just feel like it makes my nail polish last pretty long, super shiny, and it helps them dry really fast. So I'm hoping if they did change the formula, formula of the new one that the, it still is good, so I guess we'll see. Last thing I got is this brush by Sandy Kashuk, and it is the number 108 angled eyeshadow brush. I got this strictly to use for my eyebrows because the angled brush that I have now is kind of falling apart, and it's just, it's, you know, did its thing, and now I just need to move on and get a new brush. So I got this, and I'm excited to see how well this one works. All right, guys, so that's it for this haul. Let me know if you want to see any first impressions or reviews of anything I mentioned in this video, and I will do that. And yeah, that's it for this. And please like this if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a haul. I went to Target the other day. This bag is really loud. Oh God, when people drive by, I feel like they're watching me. Sometimes I feel like somebody's watching me. Hey. Sort of a smaller haul. So yeah, let's go. It's rumbling. It's time to eat. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> Ooh la la.